welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now today, we're going to be doing another sting video. Now underneath this rock is a species of ant native to Texas and nowhere else in North America. This is a species that ranges from Texas down into Central and South America. Underneath this rock is Pachycondyla harpax, which is the second largest Ponderini tribe ant in Texas and the entirety of North America. Now I'm hoping to do its larger cousin, Neoponera velosa, as well this year, but we're gonna catch ourselves a Pachycondyla harpax. So if you wanna come closer, these ants typically have a primitive nest underneath uh, logs and rocks. I've usually found Pachycondyla harpax. Oh, actually, you can see this worker running through here. Usually, Pachycondyla harpax is underneath rocks. And what they're doing is they feed mostly on other insects and nectar. So this is a perfect place for them to be. Lots of isopods, lots of termites that they have access to. Okay, yeah, look here. See all these workers here? Oh, let's get a few. Oh. Let's see, yep, yeah, we've got a we've got one here. We've got another one. That should be good. Uh look here actually. These are some old cocoons. See that? So Ponderini tribe, um, their larvae are encased in cocoons which they spin with saliva and soil. Look, you can see these cocoons stuck to the top here. So they actually require soil or rotting wood to make their cocoons. Without this, they cannot um, pupate and turn into adult ants. You can see I've got two in there. Now, Ponderini tribe, again, very painful stinging ants. If you remember um, our bullet ant episode, that is para Ponderini, which means almost Ponderini. Um, so Ponderini tribe, I'm excited to show you guys because... They're a much larger tribe, not like the bullet ants that just have one species, Paraponor clavata. Um, the Ponderini tribe has many, many species. Um, the two largest are going to be Neoponera velosa, I mean, two largest in Texas, Neoponera velosa, and uh, Pachycondyla harpax. One of the largest ants in the world is Dinoponera gigas, which is native to South America. And they even rival the Dinomermex gigas, which we were able to film in Borneo and they have stingers. <laughs> we may run into those later in our journey. We'll see. Hopefully we will, because those are really cool species of ant. But we've got our female um, Pachycondyla and we're gonna do a sting video. All right, now, even though this ant is pretty small, they have one of the more serious ant stings in Texas. Now, Pachycondyla and Neoponera are rivaled in their stings only by a few Texas species of Hymenopterans. On that list would be Pagana Myrmex, uh, which are the harvester ants. There's some pretty painful stinging harvester ants I've encountered. Um, the tarantula hawk wasp and the velvet ant. So these guys are at least top five um, on that list. So without further ado, we're gonna test out this sting here. Hopefully she doesn't fall off my arm, which is very, very likely. So she is on my arm there. See if I can pin her leg. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't come out. Okay. A little bit of dirt on my arm. Let's kind of get her going back this way. Not too big, not too terribly big, uh, but they do pack a punch, which I'm about to show you here. See if I can get her onto my arm here. There you go, there you go. Okay, get you a little farther over. Oh, <laughs> barely miss, barely miss. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Wow, 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 wow. Woo! Wow, okay. That is uh, definitely one of the more painful ants. I mean, that's maybe, I want to say, 30 times more painful than a fire ant. Um, pretty serious. You can see already, look, right there, that little red spot. That's where the stinger went in the farthest, but see these wider areas is where the stinger went right under the skin. You can see my arm's already starting to get red there. Very painful sting from such a tiny ant. Very impressive. Um, the Ponderini tribe is famed for its 
painful stings. Um, they do have some smaller relatives, but for the most part, these ants pack a punch. Some of the more painful stings I've received from ants have been from this tribe. Um, other members of this tribe include um, the trap jaw ants, uh, which a lot of people are familiar with. Those are Ponderini tribe ants, um, as well as Pachycondyla, Neoponera, all sorts of stuff. Now, typically, Ponderini tribe ants have a smaller nest size. So typically these ants are maybe in colonies of up to 200 members on average. Um, and they're primarily um, more primitive in their structure. So what that means is these ants are, are large. They're using their large formidable mandibles and potent sting uh, to subdue generally larger insect items. Um, a lot of Ponderini uh, prefer to specialize on termites. Uh, so a lot of these have adapted to specifically hunt termites. Um, other Ponderini, like um, Leptogenes, which is a type of commonly encountered Ponderini even here in Texas, uh, they specialize on isopods, on wood lice. Uh, so they have a few specializations in their tribe, but for the most part, these ants use their large size and their powerful mandibles and their powerful sting to subdue prey items. So this little fella is actually a male drone. It looks like these ants are about to have their nuptial flight. See these male drones? Oh, see these male drones have very small heads, long antenna, because they don't need the large eyes and mandibles of the females to hunt prey. Look at this worker with a a larvae in her mouth. So again, this is under wood, which is where these ants make a lot of their nests. So look at some of this. There's a male there, female workers bustling around him carrying larvae. Beautiful ants, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ants. As is true for most ants, the adults typically are feeding on nectars, on, on fruit juices, things like that. <clears throat> and the larva typically is being fed um, sugars, uh, like nectar um, and protein. Larva need a lot of protein in order to grow very fast and very strong. Look at that. Really pretty ant. Very nice kind of golden hairs on the head and cephalothorax and then kind of a rusty brown color hair on the end of the gaster on the abdomen. So I make her try and climb on my face. We'll see if she can do it. Most of the time the, the insects don't want to climb on my face. You're just gonna get stung in the face. <laughs> yep. In my nose. She's gonna live in there. <laughs> no, not going. <sighs> oh well. I bet I could really make her if I wanted to. But really, really cool ants. I think we've done our little test. You can see, look at that. <laughs> so three stings that went in my arm there. Let me put her by those. Now you said you wanted more sting videos and I'm hearing you. Uh, so we're planning on doing a few more in Texas this year. Um, and hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I'm not gonna do too many more. There are a few species on my list and I'm probably gonna keep it a surprise until they happen. So you're just gonna have to sit tight, hang tight, but we will be doing a few more because I know how much you guys do enjoy them. But I'm glad I could showcase this really neat species to y'all. This is one of my favorite Texas species. Uh, we're going to let this female right back into her colony. And then we're going to be on our way, hopefully finding some more animals to show you guys at home. All right. Thank you, love. You did very well. Oh, and there she goes. Let me put her a little closer to her nest so that she knows where she is. Get her bearings. 
Wow, she fell straight down. Oh, 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 oh. So Potterini, they use their antenna to smell out their trails, where they are familiar with. There she goes. Oh, oh. She's starting to figure out where she is, where she is. And there she goes. All right. Good stuff. Look at that. Pretty big welt. I'll update some as we go along. Um, but like I said, I mean, that's... <laughs> That's pretty serious. That ant is maybe a third of an inch long to make that serious of a of a sting. You stick your whole foot in a nest like that, you're in for a bad day. But uh, really cool stuff, and uh, hopefully we find some more animals today. All right. All right, now after about three hours, you can see that the swelling has actually totally gone down. My arm's still a little bit red. But um, those are the three stings. You can see the little bit of bleeding under the skin, very red. Um, but as far as it goes, I'm fit as, a, fit as a fiddle. I'm just doing fine, all right? So it's not too bad. Uh, and, um, you know, we're, we're doing okay. We're out here uh, trying to film some alligators and some snakes and such. So we're really hoping to find more stuff. Um, but, yeah, uh, I hope you all enjoy all these videos I'm putting out for you. Well, hold on, there's a lot of wind. Might affect my, my recording. But uh, that that's great. It's all done. I'm switching accents there. It's all great. It's all done. Um, we're, uh, we're trying to go film some more stuff later today. And hopefully we find more things to film a video about. So, oh, now I switch right back. Whoa. What am I doing here? I'm tired of this accent. I'm just gonna do my normal voice. All right, so we had a good time. We got a sting. We're filming some more videos. We're hoping to get videos every week for you guys. So I'm working hard and hardly working. So keep watching, like, subscribe, donate, buy merch, send me a hug, comment nice things or comment horribly mean things like a lot of you like to do, but that's fine. As long as you watch the video, I still get a penny. So love you. Bye.